Hello guys, uh, today we are playing Slender the Arrival. And I played this game a couple times, you know, beat it. And it's extremely freaky at some points, but there's not a lot of like big jump scares, so... Yeah, uh, I'll just be stopping at like stages. And then, yeah, do different parts, and uh, hopefully I can beat it. Which I should probably be able to, so... Now we just wait. Okay, so that was nice. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I've done this before and you've basically wrecked your car. And, uh, that's it. And Kate is coming in later. But, uh, yeah, let's just, let's get, enjoy the view. Actually, it gets dark as you get closer to the thing, because if you back up, it gets brighter again as if it's day. Which is kind of weird, but, oh, those are all my footsteps, I think. Now, uh, you can act, there's actually a spot up here where you can, don't have to follow the whole trail and you can just skip down. But I'm gonna go this way. Uh, because I don't want, I want to get this done, because <laughs> it's a freaky game. I'm gonna have to do it at night, which it's like 10.30 right now. And I'm actually gonna go to bed right after this video, so. I know, good timing, but luckily I probably won't be getting to be any big horror parts in this part of the series. So yeah, um, I want to sprint, but okay. See how it's like getting darker, and then if I back up, it gets brighter. So that's just the mechanics of the game. But I noticed it's actually extremely bright because the gamma thing I turned it way up. And there's actually a little thing over here I can do. Kind of creepy. So that means that my character and the person selling this house are actually a little bit related. Yes, I know. Slendy, you're gonna stay out there. So, uh, it looks like. Whoa. Yeah, Timmy's been having some tantrums and stuff. Having issues. Uh, what button do I hit? Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna read those. If you wanna pause it and read, you can. And you can actually get an achievement here. You out there, Slendy? Huh. I know that's actually Slendy right now. Lion's dead, okay. This has a list of things we need, and all it really is is just the flashlight, and there's batteries somewhere. You don't really need them unless you're playing hardcore. Then, uh, I like to turn on this radio. Okay, you can read that if you want. And it just, it just brightens the mood for a horror game until it turns off, like half of the game. But, um, okay. So, hopefully the door is still closed. Okay. So, I'm actually gonna go in here first. And I don't need to find that key. Oh, that's all. I don't need to go in here, but I'm actually going to because sometimes there's a jump scare. I want you guys to see it. <gasps> Sunday! Hello! Oh, he's gone. That's not sex. That actually happens. I knew that was gonna happen, so... Okay, well there's no reason to go through all those rooms. Let's get right into it. So, little Timmy had a pretty bad tantrum the other day. Um, this room's pretty freaky. And, uh, oh crap. Okay, wait, I think if you hit, yeah, your current goal is to investigate the screen. Yeah, I know Sunday's out there. So what I'm going to do is go around the back, check that out. Okay. So I know he's out here, but I don't really care. Uh, it's worth it. So and Sometimes he'll be right here. Nope. Nope, guess not. Oh, playground! Let's have some fun! 
Oh, he's got to try to lighten the mood in this horror game. Oh, uh, geez, he's around here. Somewhere. I heard it. Um. Yeah. Ooh, a slide. Yeah. Wee. <laughs> Playing a slide in the horror game. It's great. I think there's a checkpoint right over here, so yeah, we'll see you in the next